Beko for the Mother's Day special. So later, uh, magita natin kung ano yung mga hinagdang uh, program ng Beko para sa ating mga mothers. So, para mapasukin natin yung event ng uh, Beko Mother's Day. So ayan, pasok tayo ngayon sa mall ng Robinson's Magnolia Ito na natin yung uh, Beko event Ayan mga mga kalusot ka kayo ma'am So andito pa tayo ngayon sa home and kitchen fair at uh, hindi naman kasama yung lahat ng mga appliance dito Dito na lang tayo particular sa sa Beko So right now hindi pa nagsisimula yung uh, yung program. So ikutin muna natin yung mga available na products ng Beko. So it's a Mother's Day special so they're giving uh, discounts para sa kanila mga selected appliances. Right now, ayan po, yung kanilang rep may discount na 500 pagka 3 days lang po ito. So starting today until, uh, until Sunday. So grab this opportunity para uh, makaba, makabili at uh, perfect pang regal sa inyong mga, sa ating mga mother. So, ayan po. So selected uh, appliances lang po ng Beko. So itong tatlong model na sinapakita ko lang yung may less na 500. ikot ako ngayon dito sa sa mga gas range ko nila so ayan to so ito yung uh, Mother's Day special nila ngayon 30% off pagka bumili ka ng bundle ng dalawang yung washing machine tsaka yung dryer tapos ito naman yung gas range pag bumili ka ng gas range you can avail a 30% discount pa sa kanilang boot ito yung uh, sample ng kanilang uh, uh, washing machine hmm, yan po nag, uh, right now nagsiset up pa yung para sa program ng mga uh, inanlag na pinipair uh, ng Beko so, yan po yung mga invited guests may mga media partner tayo mga vloggers din yun pa yung ibang products yun may kasyala uh, natin yung ibang products ng Beko so ito yung ibang products ng Beko although wala siyang uh, uh, Mother's Day blowout discount you can avail this one uh, only available at selected uh, Uh, Robinson's appliances so this is only a 3 days uh, discount so grab this opportunity para makapag-avail ng discounts ito yung, uh, yung kaninang pinakita ko sa picture ng bundle na washing machine tsaka dryer so ayan
So, it's the, um, pag araw-araw na naman, for everyday makeup, let's choose the kind of foundation na very light. Pack na pack. Kasi, ang skin natin, kailangan din natin, kailangan din mag-breathe. No? Kailangan makahinga siya. So, kailangan natin ng very light foundation na mga. Okay, yeah. Ayan, so remember guys, this is only 15 minutes of your time. And then when you apply your foundation in your face, make sure you use your ring finger around the eye area because this is the lightest finger we have. Yeah, I heard that when uh, when it comes to our uh, skin eye, it's yeah. very sensitive. Yeah, can cause wrinkles for uh, it can it can have wrinkles right away lines so we don't put our moisturizer on the around the eyes dapat meron talaga siyang sariling eye treatment for skin uh, skin 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 care for the eyes yeah. and then we can blend the foundation around the face using a sponge or better in finger lang din no kasi kung ano gagawa ng sarili mo just make sure na walang nagbubububo na foundation. Ms. Mayan, can I ask a question? How do you know the correct uh, color of the foundation? I'm sure we all sometimes go through that problem. When we go to, uh, to a makeup store, try to, to apply a small amount of foundation on your jaw and then see if it disappears while you blend it. If it does, then it means it really matches your skin tone. Do not choose a foundation that is too white or too dark on your skin. And if you think you have a acidic skin, acidic skin type, if you have a acidic skin type, kind of uh, choose a foundation that is a little bit lighter than your skin because later on it will oxidate and it will darken. Kaya, na siya. How yeah. do you know that Miss Maya if you have acidic skin? What are the symptoms or what are the or the signs that I have an acidic skin? Uh, most of those faces with oily skin, yun yung mga acidic talaga. Pagka nakikita mo visible yung pores, yun talaga yung mga acidic. So, nag-oxidize yung foundation sa kanila. So, it's better when you choose a foundation, you choose one that is a little bit lighter than your skin, not too white. Ayan. Make sure... You apply the foundation until the sa hairline natin. Para hindi naman mukhang may mascara tayo dito. Hindi mukhang geisha. Yeah. You guys know what a geisha is? You're Japanese with just like a white mask. Yeah. And then apply it also on your ears and neck. So lahat ng exposed na skin near your face should be, uh, should have foundation. Yeah. After that is the powder. Wow, fresh Bobby Sherry. So, do you regularly place makeup, mommy, every day or occasionally? When we apply that powder, we just apply it in a circular mode. I'm here 
to do a cooking demo, a simple cooking demo for, for a recipe. Uh, shows like? Uh, Jimmy, uh, like the cookies, uh, Unang Giret, if you're watching Unang Giret, PD5 uh, as well, and so much more. Sana marami kong pride. Oh, panating yan. Di ba mas guapo siya sa personal? Sa <laughs> So, brang, if you can do it, you can do After them. Alright, so just so all of you know, um, during the last uh, event of Beko Philippines, we had what we called the Eat Like a Pro uh, Advocacy event. So, this was a an advocacy that supported the initiative in eliminating unhealthy habits of eating for our, and making nutritious nutritious meals for our families. So since then, Beko has widened its reach uh, when it came to healthily cooking for our families. So we would like to all give you the importance to build, of building this habit at home. So syempre, lahat tayo, we're also used to running to fast food chains to get our um, stomachs filled. But with Chef Jarek here, he will demo us very quick uh, uh, meals that we can cook at home. That is going to take us about, what, 50, 30 minutes? Uh, 30 minutes? Uh, less than 20 minutes. Less than 20 minutes. It's really timely because Mother's Day is fast approaching. So guys, yes. ito, pwede nyo itong ihanda sa Sunday. If you're celebrating with your mom, your Lola, Yes, and uh, we are going to use a special ingredient from the Monte, which is their Contadina pasta sauces and kikoban. So those who registered will actually take this home later on. So there you go. Please uh, do watch Chef Jerick as he demonstrates how to cook this very delicious dish. And of course, at the end of the program, we will be sending a prize to the top three moms who have the most creative clip and the photos that meet the criteria that I announced a while ago. So, again, announcing the criteria is Becca Enthusiasm, 40%, Mom Fantastic, also 40%, and beauty and style, 20%. Okay, so mommies, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes, all right, Chef Jerry, you can take the stage. I'd like to have an NFT to have. Okay. So we can you know, interact with. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Okay, okay, let's go. This Beko appliance is kind of hot and safe. Okay. So you don't have to worry about anything. Okay. So what we're going to do, or what we are going to cook today, is a pasta dish. Okay. So uh, this recipe originated in Italy in 1940. So this, yes. so this is a tomato-based pasta. Okay. So uh, this recipe has a hint of bananas and a little bit of um, uh, chili kick. Okay. okay. So, first off, Chef, we need a pasta. So, we have here our Del Monte Contadina Lingui. Okay. Okay. So, actually, Chef, one of the trickiest parts in cooking, I've tried before, is how to make it al dente. Al dente, yes. Okay. Uh, to make, it, make your pasta al dente. Because al dente means there's a, uh, something, para yung lumalaban yung uh pasta. Okay. It means by here to eat to go through and through the pasta. Here it's a little bit of lining. Mm -hmm. And for you to do that, um, you should first boil your water. It's a boiling boil. Temperature and how many minutes, chef? Approximately. Yes. And then once you drop your pasta, okay. uh, you should uh, cook it for uh, uh, 4 14 minutes. Okay, so 16 minutes, mommies. And sometimes, Chef, well, what my mom taught me a long time ago was to add um, either butter or olive oil 
into the water, then you're going to boil the pasta in. Actually, we have our own ways to do but I personally, I really recommend putting oil on the water. Dahil it's going to be uh, pointless eh. Kasi yung, yung lard or yung oil, aangat lang siya. So it's better, if you're going to cook a pasta, it's better to after it's a maluto, and you drain it, you add oil, and then you mix it. That's a better way of cooking pasta. Yes. And it's very helpful then when you cook your pasta, your noodles, then you add a little bit of um, salt. It really helps boost the flavor of the pasta. The starchiness of it will be, uh, uh, recreate the uh, um, the texture. Okay. So, so salt bay natin natin. Yeah. Salt bay. I will now show you how to open the pasta packet using one hand. Paano ata? Wow! Ito ba may trick tayo? May magic show pa pala tayo here. Okay. So, ganito lang siya. Okay. Alright. Oh! Ito na lang pala pala. So, ganun lang. You don't have to Uh, being put up so much effort uh, opening your pasta. Is that really how you are meant? That's why. I think so. <laughs> Turo sa amin yung sa culinary school. Oh, okay. Uh, ano lang siya? Pero ito doon naman. Kasi sometimes ako, well, you're feeling cooked. So next, when you open pasta, diba, it's like you tear it pa. And then, uh, not all the pasta uh, noodles come out of the plastic. Because there's a part there that stays closed. Yes. So that's a thing. It is really important that if you're not using all the pasta, you should have a vacuum sealed container. Okay. Because okay. it really affects the quality of the pasta. If you're not doing the use it right away. Right. Okay. So, okay. let's not uh, further delay our pasta cooking. So, let's drop it. A little amount lang, dahil we're not going to um, cook everything. This is a 500 gram uh, pasta. So, we're not going to cook it up again. Okay. So this can feed up to five. Yes. Okay. So later on, I surprise you with something new. Let's prepare a cool, readily made. Let's prepare a cool, finished product. Oh. So you guys can try and enjoy what the what the pasta we have. Okay. 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 It's, it's also important that for you stay uh, dredge or soak all the pasta inside of your um, pasta. So it's pot. all you know, maybe yes. equally cooked. Yes. What do you think about that? Egg. No, remember we cooked during that show. So I cooked. Yeah. I cooked. That was fun. Okay. So while cooking the pasta, we will now soak our uh, sauce. Okay. okay. So this is a very easy sauce. For first timers, kaya kaya yung tungo it. Okay. So first, you have to offer a picture of that. Okay. And use this. Oh, they have. They're not the Patina Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Okay. What's the difference, Chef? In using olive oil and just like vegetable oil? Is it olive oil? Aside from this thing, the taste of it enhances the flavor of. Your and it's healthier. Yeah. I'd like to put regular oil, but all the oil is good. Para sa lang lang yun lang. This adds extra flavor. Okay. okay. And please take those that uh, olive oil has a low cooking point, so you don't uh, turn on your fire very very hot. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm learning so much today. Are you guys learning a lot? Yes. Yeah. Kasi ako yes. pa. <laughs> Kasi ako parang nililigay ko na lang yung olive oil tapos na. Okay. Then you cook. So how do they open the big like that? So there, there's actually a difference in using olive oil and just like regular vegetable.
a more uh, intelligent partner at home by providing them home appliances from Beko, the one that uh, they can use at home to help them to have more time, not doing the household chores, but more time to spend with their family and more quality time doing family bonding. So we have a lot of products here from refrigerators, washing machine, and cooking appliances, the one that uh, Chef Jerry used. Kalina, no, thank you Chef Jerry for always yes. making our things out. Um, masaya kami that uh, the, the mommies are here to join us this afternoon. And uh, I'll be talking about uh, our, our products and our so it's, it's uh, about feeding that we uh, tell our mommies how these products will help them at home. So let me start with uh, our partner here from the left, the refrigerators. You know what? Anna is right. That our refrigerators can keep your fruits and vegetables for longer period of time. Three times the freshness, even up to 30 days for some of the leafy vegetables. You know what? I, I will share with you my personal experience. I've shared this with the people from Robinson's earlier. They are here, Sir Edgar, Sina, Melinda, Sina Jenny, Sina Erica. Um, I have uh, I proven that Beko really uh, preserve the leafy vegetables for a longer period of time. Um, I was telling this story with, with the people that I've come across with. I'm using Beko appliance at home. Not because I'm from Beko, but I'm speaking as a consumer. My personal experience. You know, uh, a mint leaf, you mint leaf na ginagamit natin that we put on water and it keeps your water fresh infused with mint. Um, it helps you to eliminate foul odor on, on your breath. No? But I use this and I put it inside a pitcher full of water. Uh, for the first time, I bought it outside. So for about two weeks, it stays fresh inside the pitcher with water. So I, I always refill the pitcher with water. I always I always refill it with water every time I, I consume them already. So for two weeks it remained fresh. So it there's about four layers of beef. So the, the only layer that was bitter was the one at the bottom. So what I did was uh, I, I find it uh, I find it unhealthy for me personally. So what I did was I took this stem of men and I take off the winter leaves. What I did was I just put it on soil. So in a people like that, uh, not knowing that it will it will still grow. So I was surprised that uh, about two weeks, nakita ko na na tumubo na siya on its own. So it was being na buhay pa rin siya. So after staying about two weeks inside the micro refrigerator, we have winter leaves about two pieces. And the stem still was able to regenerate. At the boy pa rin siya with the soil. So the next time that I took, I put the mint leaf coming from that stream of mint leaf na na nanggaling sa micro refrigerator. And there's another story. With that mint leaf, I put it again inside a pitcher full of water for about one month. Ganun pa rin yung story. Nagkaroon ng withered leaves dun sa ilalim. So I just, uh, I just cut the stem. Pero I was surprised to see a new stem that sprout from within that stem. So meron pa bago tumubo. So it means that it does really keep your vegetables fresh. Imagine a month inside the water and soaking in water and still it manages to flourish. So ganun po katinde yung technology ng ating micro refrigerator. That's why it keeps your vegetables and fruits fresher for longer and up to 30 days for some of the different vegetables. So I'm speaking not on behalf of Beko but as a consumer my personal experience. So you <laughs> Pwede pang mga anak yung mga vegetables. Oo, oh, mga nagulat din ako. It can really... So that means that it can really um, foster the nutrients properly. Yes, you know why? Because of the ever-fresh plus 
the ever fresh plus in our vegetable bean keeps and manages and controls the humidity inside the refrigerator or inside inside the vegetable beans. So it helps the fruit and vegetable to have the exact optimum humidity that it needs for it to grow and for it to stay fresher for a longer period of time. And apart from that, our micro refrigerator also has the active blue light. So you know what active blue light is? Um, it's like the sun. So it keeps your photosynthesis on leafy vegetables going on and on and on and on. So it's like you're having a solar system inside the refrigerator. It keeps your uh, it keeps the leafy vegetable to continue its process of photosynthesis, which keeps your leafy vegetable much more greener, much more fresher. So ganon siya. Oh, plus, on top of it, it has inverter dual cooling. So the dual cooling system prevents the cross uh, contamination of air coming from fridge and from the freezer section. So you're, you you will have your clean air revolving around the freezer, and there's another clean air revolving around the fridge section. So your fridge section does not rely on the coolness of the freezer section. That's why it keeps a more optimum temperature inside the fridge and the freezer section. Wow, so there you go guys. So this is, to be honest, this is the first time I'm sure you've heard of such features. Yes. Uh, the first time I've learned about it. It was, oh, this is the, also the first brand that na narinig ko na may ganon. So, ako, I'm convinced. <laughs> Kayo ba? Are you convinced? But of course, there's more to it. Yes, yes. of course. That's on the refrigerator. So, but what can it do to the mom? Yes. Uh, to the then, the mom need not to go to the grocery every day. Yes. So, meaning you can already purchase one time in bulk all the fresh vegetables and fruits every time and anything that you can find in, in the grocery store or in the uh, supermarket you can buy it one time and you can store it for a longer period of time so you can already stock vegetable fresh vegetables in micro refrigerator and micro refrigerator will keep it fresh for you for a longer period this morning po, welcome po sa Robinson's Magnolia para sa Beko event. Ano natin si Sir Jun, ang general manager ng Beko. One of the world in celebrating the Mother's Day for this year. And uh, today we have our special Mother's Day out. It's an event that uh, Beko offers to our mother here in the Philippines. Um, here we have makeup tutorials, makeup sessions. We also have cooking demo, and uh, I'm sure all the mothers will enjoy it. So we would like to invite every one of you to come here at Robinson's Magnolia. We will be here from today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday until Sunday to celebrate with you the Mother's Day. Sir Jun, can you tell something about Beko? How we started? What is this brand? So why they do, uh, need, uh, they have to choose this brand mm. compared to the other brands? Okay, uh, Beko has been here in the Philippines since uh, 2015. We launched the brand in the market. It's the number one brand in uh, UK. They're very popular in Europe. And Beko has a lot of uh, technologies that they can offer here in the Philippines, especially to our moms. Of course, we value that the moms also need time for themselves. And with Beko, we design our products to give mommies more time for themselves. Uh, for instance, we have our washing machine, uh, which is equipped with an express super short program, which is designed for the lightly soiled clothes. So you can wash your clothes like up to two kilograms in just 14 minutes for the whole cycle. So they have more time for themselves and spend with their family. We also have our um, refrigerators, which are equipped with ever fresh cloths. Ever Fresh Plus is a technology that keeps your vegetable fresher three times longer and up to 30 days. So meaning you need not to go to the grocery store to buy from time to time or every day. Because you can store a bunch of uh, vegetables and food in your refrigerator and refrigerator, uh, paper refrigerator will keep it fresh for a longer period of time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're also launching very, very soon our uh, Split and Cook. This is a freestanding cooker that allows the mom to cook two dishes at the same time with two different uh, temperature requirements. So it will cut uh, techni technically their cooking into half. Yes. Yes. So these are all exciting products that we designed for 
the Filipino moms. So for you moms out there, tell your husbands or tell your, tell your sons that you want this product and this will really help you in keeping your family healthy. Thank you, Sir Jun, for uh, sharing uh, valuable information about Beko. So, ano pang hihintay nyo? So, tara natin sa Robinson's.